Hello everyone and welcome to another online edition of Grace Creatives. My name is Desiree and I'm the director of Grace and we're excited that you've joined us again for another online session. I'm going to be taking you today through a guided session and teaching you how to paint this flashlight in the night sky painting. As you can see, there's a girl, a silhouette of a girl. She's holding a flashlight and as she shines it, you can see the daylight behind it. So pretty cool. I saw this on Pinterest and taught myself how to do it. And now I'm going to teach you how to do it. So first things first, I'm going to go over the materials that you need in order to do this project. And then we will jump into the first step. All right, so the materials that you need for this project are fairly simple. The first thing that you're going to need is a canvas that can this can be an eight by 10 canvas, five by seven and 11 by 17. Really, whatever you have is fine. Um, the bigger the canvas, the more paint that you're going to need. But for today, I have an eight by 10. If you got a kit from us, I put a little five by seven canvas in there. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need two paint brushes. Um, I have a flat, a medium sized flat paintbrush and then a very small precision paintbrush here. Two paintbrushes should be just fine. Um, I've also got a cotton ball. I've got two small Dixie cups. One I'll be using for water and one I'll be using for paint. I've got some napkins for dabbing. I've got some blue masking tape. If you just have regular masking tape, that's fine as well. And then I have a combination of acrylic paint. Um, in this little cup, I have white, blue, pink, and yellow. And then in this one, I have white, light blue, dark blue, medium blue, and black acrylic paint. So um, if you do wanna have a similar turnout as this, you will need somewhat similar colors. If you got a kit from us, then I have all of the colors all portioned out in your kit. And if you're doing this project at home, do your best to match the colors that I have here. And, uh, and last but not least, make sure that you set up your area um, in a nice open space. If you have an easel, that does make this project a little bit easier, not, not necessary, um, but helpful as well. So go ahead and set up your area and I will jump into the first step. So for the first step of this project, what you're gonna need to do is grab your two Dixie cups and you're gonna put water in one of the Dixie cups. This will just be used for rinsing out your brushes. And then in the other Dixie cups, you're gonna take some of that white paint that I um, gave you and you're gonna put about half of it in here and we're just gonna set that aside for later So I'm um, just take a minute to fill up your water cup and set aside some of that white paint and We will jump into the next step So after you've got that white paint set aside the first step of this painting is going to be to paint the daylight that's shining in the darkness first so we're going to paint this in the background after which we're going to put some tape down and then paint over the whole thing so the very first thing we're going to start off with is grabbing those pastel paints so that's the white blue yellow and pink and we're just going to paint um, and kind of fade these colors together and you're going to want to start about a little lower than halfway down it doesn't have to be exact but you're just going to put a little bit of white there to start and then you're going to transition that into the yellow and you can just start off by putting a little bit because we can always add more later and then we're gonna go into the pink. And then last but not least is the blue up top. So you're just gonna spend a few minutes kind of blending this in until you have pretty much this whole section right here covered with these colors blended together. So just take a few minutes to paint that. I'll come back when mine is finished and I will guide you through the next step.
All right, so after you're done blending your colors together, yours should look something like this with the four colors somewhat blended. And the next step of this project is just going to be to let this dry for a few minutes. We're gonna be putting some tape over top of this, so we want this to be completely dry before we do that. That way it doesn't ruin what we've done. So you just wanna let this dry for maybe four or five minutes. And after that, I will guide you through the next step. All right, so hopefully you had enough time to let your canvas dry. Mine's dry and it looks something like this. You can tell when it's dry because it doesn't um, shine. It's not glossy anymore and it's also dry to the touch. So you can touch it and not get any paint on your hands. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be using our tape to section off this portion that you see here. So if you got a kit from us, I wrapped some tape around one of your paint brushes. I'm just gonna be using the tape from the, re the reel here. Um, but what you're gonna do next is um, just take a couple pieces of tape and you're gonna do an outline through all of the colors to the end of the flashlight and just bring that tape and wrap around the back. I'm gonna start off with my two um, outline pieces first and then fill it in. Wrap that one around, cut that one off. So I'll show you guys. Start with that out, outline there and then I'm just gonna fill it in right here. So go ahead and take a few minutes to get your tape put on your canvas and I will come back with the next step. All right, so after you've got your canvas taped off, we're gonna go ahead and move into the next step of this project, which is gonna be painting the night sky over the top of the whole entire canvas. So what you're going to need it to do is to grab those five colors that I showed you at the beginning. That's the white, light blue, the two darker blues, and the black. And what we're gonna do is we're going to place those on the canvas. You're gonna start with the white on the bottom, just place a dab with the white, take some of the blue, put that a little above it, and then take those darker blues, put some right there, and just kind of line it up in the middle here all the way until you have black at the top, like so. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be spending a few minutes just kind of blending these colors all across the um, top of the canvas. So um, yeah, just take a few minutes and blend those until your entire canvas is covered with those colors and you have a nice blend between all of those colors. And then I will come back with the next step. All right, so when you're done blending, your painting should look something like this. And if you're wondering how I got it to look like this and you're struggling, I'm just gonna um, show you quickly how I did this. Um, you can actually just do really large brush, brush strokes along the bottom and then just bring it all the way up to the top. Don't worry too much about um, mixing the colors too much because it actually looks really cool when they blend. You want to keep them somewhat separate. But like I said, I just took those really broad brush strokes all along the top of it until it was all the way covered. And those colors are just going to kind of naturally blend together as you run your brush over the top of it. So just a little tip there for blending. Um, if you need a little bit more time, go ahead and keep blending. If not, the next step of this project is going to be to let it dry for a few minutes and I will come back with the next step. All right, so after your painting is mostly dry, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be creating this um, kind of cloudy look in the background of our painting. So what you're going to need to do is to grab your cotton ball and then about half of that white paint that we set aside at the beginning. And you're going to get your cotton ball just a little bit wet. Um, 
not super wet, just put a little bit of water on there, um, kind of drain that out, and then dip the cotton ball in some of that white paint. And what we're gonna start doing is we're going to start just dabbing on um, in the corner here, all the way down the middle, just kind of some clouds, kind of in a diagonal shape. So um, this might take you a little bit. This is gonna involve some blending. So you're gonna start with the white, but then you're gonna wanna add maybe some dark blue, maybe some black, just to kind of fade it all out and and blend it. So, but again, just, just some really light touches here. Um, maybe don't go in necessarily a straight line, but just kind of go over the top here. Um, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes kind of blending mine and getting it to look how I want it. And I will come back and show you when I'm done and we will move on to the final few steps. All right, so hopefully you had some fun doing some blending um, with your cotton ball. I did mine and it looks something like this. Um, you might have ended up with a little bit of cotton mixed in there somewhere from it sticking. Totally fine, just adds a little bit of texture to your painting as you can see. In this one I ended up with a little bit of a line right here and that's actually just cotton that came off the cotton ball that um, ended up turning out pretty cool. So. I'm um, pretty satisfied with how mine's looking right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. And what we're gonna do for the next step is we're gonna take, again, some of that white paint that we set aside and you're gonna water it down. So um, take that little cup and then add some water to there until it's super watered down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the paint and we're just gonna splatter it over the top and it's gonna make it look like these little stars that you see in the background here. So just water down that paint. I'm gonna go ahead and do mine and I will walk you through the splattering. All right, so I've got my watered down white paint here in the cup and I've got my canvas here. So you're just gonna take that paintbrush and you're just gonna Hit it really gently um, over the top so it creates all those really, really small ones. You might want to hit it a couple times even before you put it on your canvas just so you can get some of those bigger drops out. I'm going to turn mine to face me, but um, yeah, just spend a couple minutes kind of splashing your canvas so that you end up with some of those white paint spots are gonna end up looking like really pretty stars in the con constellation here. Um, so take a few minutes doing that and I will come back with the final couple of steps. All right, so for the next step of this project, we're gonna be painting the silhouette of the hills as well as the girl here holding the flashlight. So. If you'll notice, I did the two hills in a little bit of a different color. This one's kind of like a grayish uh, blue and this one's more of a dark blue color. And I just did that by mixing together some of the colors. And then the girl, um, the most important thing with that is just to line up the flashlight with the end of where your tape is on your canvas. So you can still kind of see where the tape is if you just look at your canvas. Um, another helpful tip is if you have a hard time painting silhouettes, um, I always like to look up something online or just look at a picture in front of me to uh, just kind of help guide me through the process. So um, just spend a few minutes um, doing this part on your canvas and then we'll just have two more steps to go. All right, so I've got my silhouettes all done. Did this one in a little bit of a lighter color with blue, this hill, and then I did this other hill with a little bit of a gray, and then I did my girl all in black. So um, the final step of this project, you guessed it, is to peel this tape off and reveal this beautiful painting. So um, just grab that tape and start tearing it off. Um, if you're really careful, you might be able to get it all off in one section by starting here at the bottom. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that so I can show you guys, but um, just really gently pull that tape off. Try to balance it here so I can do my reveal. Um, pull that up. And voila, there we have our painting. You can see her holding the flashlight, looking into the beautiful night sky and seeing the daylight. So that completes our project for today. Um, hope you en enjoyed doing this project with us. Um, I absolutely loved doing this project and wanting to do it for weeks. And yeah, we hope that you join us again for another online Grace Creative session. Again, don't forget if you do this project, tag us at Girls Rising Above on Instagram, and we will feature your picture on our social media. So thank you so much and have a blessed rest of your day.